Hello and welcome back to City Bus Manager. And our company, Dave Coach. Still can't work out where my inspiration for that name come from. But we've just sort of sped on to the morning after the day before where we finished off the last episode. And what we need to do now is just allocate the morning the morning shift. So we'll get all of these out ready to go and we'll put this one on our new Citro. And the rest of these will just get cleaned and tidied up after the day before so that they are all nice and ready for their day. Anyway, what I did say was that I was going to give you lots of fun facts about Swansea. So as we start speeding into the day, um, I realised I only really gave you half a proper fact yesterday by telling you that Swansea is the second largest city in Wales after Cardiff. I seem disbelieving that the fact that that would be the case, but that, well, I seem, I seem disbelieving that Cardiff would have been the bigger city. Cardiff is huge. Anyway, the population of these cities for reference, just so we can sort of know what's going on, um, sorry, for the numbers and you can believe me. So Swansea is around a quarter of a million people, just under, which I think is 246,000-ish. I'll put the real number up on screen now. And Cardiff is actually just under half a million, which is actually, in UK terms, a very, very big city. I think that's 488,000. So between the two, some pretty big cities. Actually, it does mean actually between the two of them, we're looking at about three quarters a million people. Considering there's only three to four million people who live in Wales, that's quite a large um, density of them both sort of packed into the two cities. Anyway, I suppose that's also yesterday's um, fact. If we come out here and we can watch our buses loop around, I think one of them will be running quite late as we held it on for a bit. But hopefully they can get back on time soon. Anyway, yes, so that, that was yesterday's fact about the size. Today's fact is celebrities born in Swansea. Ooh, exciting. We all love a bit of celebrity culture, celebrity gossip and stuff. So, probably most famously, we have Rob White Ryden, comedian and actor. Probably best known for those of you outside of um, the UK for his role in Gavin and Stacey. Otherwise, quite well known for his role on Would I Life You hosting that comedy show. If you don't know it, look it up. It's quite interesting. It's where you get sort of like six minor celebrities and two different teams and they are given... A, either a true fact or lie about themselves and they have to convince everyone it is true. This host, yeah, it's quite good fun. But you also got Alan and Jones, rugby player, Ian Hislop, political analyst and um, satirist, uh, Hugh Edwards, new reader, um, and many other people. Not all of them. Well, I've got Shirley Bassey, I know Shirley Bassey, singer. Everyone knows Shirley Bassey. But you've got like, Keith Allen, uh, Shane Williams, uh, Chris Coleman, and many others size. So there we go. Some celebrity people from Swansea. Very, very nice. Anyway, while that's been going on, we've been watching our buses buzz around here. And it is oddly hypnotic sort of watching them go sometimes. We can sort of see that they're, they're picking up decent loads, fairly full when they're coming out. Like over here at St Mary's Church seems to be fairly, a fairly busy stop. But seems now to be calming down a little bit. But that's good, yeah. We're probably going to be losing our Sotero very soon, as it would have done all of its shifts. There it is, back to the depot he goes. So when he pulls in, we'll get him cleaned up, and we'll have him ready to do some afternoon. Actually, he's not too dirty, but we'll just give him the whole the whole shebang while he's here, because we can. And we'll keep our staff busy. So what are people saying about Dave Coach? Only 2.3 stars. If you, saw, if you saw that at the restaurant review average on Google, you wouldn't use me. That's a bit of a shame because I want to be used. Hang on a minute. That didn't come out quite right, did it? Please use me. Anyway, what are they saying? What are they saying indeed? I heard that this bus had no Wi-Fi and I couldn't believe it until I experienced it for myself. It's like we've gone back to the Stone Age. Oh, come on, the new Man Martins. God, must be a youth. Wi-Fi expected everywhere. Surely you've got data roaming on your phone. It's only a five minute ride anyway. Oh. The um, bus ride was very unpleasant. No comfort to be felt. Well, sorry about that, Kirsten. Um, the, he seems all right with it. Nomeo Pinto, not very happy. Alexander, very happy. It's nice 
it is nice that the needs of the passengers are taken into account and that the buses have a very high interval. That is good. I'm glad you appreciate it. Anyway, now that we've looked at that and we're five minutes in, it's time for us to get into the meat and potatoes of this episode. It's time to grab it by the kahunis and get, get going. So what we are going to do is that I'm going to have some aggressive expansion going on. I would quite like to grow our um, depot in size. I would like it to be... Um, what are they saying? Yeah, I just quite like it to be a bigger... Just covering more area. So we'll just get you out. It's a shame I haven't got one of the others back, but hopefully he'll be back in time for for that to be assigned to him. Anyway, what I'm going to do is expand as well. We are aggressively expanding, and to do that, what I need to do is take out a loan. I'll take this one because it's got a fairly low interest rate payment. Same for you. We will slow this down. So we've now got 182 to play with, and what I'll do is grow in here. And I will do this in a quick, slightly sped up, and we will talk over it as it goes. So let's go. Yee! Voice over me is here. And what I have to say is, well, we're going to go for a second workshop. We'll increase the size of the um, storeroom and put a few more shelves in so we can get everything we need in there. So yeah, the aim is just to try and make it so it's bigger. I can up, well, upgrade. I can um, I can fix up lots of second-hand buses. We're going to expand down here and just get all these bays for stuff to go into. So we've got enough room in there so I can get a fuel bay and a wash bay. We'll do that in the future. We will need one shortly, but probably not right now. But we'll get these mediums in for now, and that should be a good start point. Okay, so here we have our enlarged depot. We've got a few medium bays going on, and we have a few more little ones, paint stations we can paint our buses up. I've left this cap here so I could try and squeeze in a large lifting bay, but we'll save that until I need to use the large buses. We've got a bigger storeroom in here, and more room for our service centre to grow into in the future. So what we need now is some more staff to fill up our, um, our depot. Skill level I'm not too bothered by when I'm looking at drivers. Um, I'm just looking mainly for the cheaper ones. So we're gonna, oh, you're not very friendly or skilled, but Havana, you are cheap, we'll take you. Um, and you, why not? Who do we want in here? You're too expensive. We'll take you. No, that'll do for now. So we've got seven, I'd quite like a couple more. Do we have any cheaper ones in here? Maxime, you are free. I'll hire you. Your skill level will go up. Your friendliness won't, but who cares? And you are friendly, so multi. Well done. How many do you have? Nine. I'd quite like to get a nice round ten. Anyone come in looking good? No, but we'll take... No, you're just not friendly enough, are you? We'll deal with nine. We'll get a second mechanic for our... Um, Second lifting station, cleaner, we'll take another cleaner, any of you looking friendly and skilled, Nikolai, you're welcome to the team, and I get one more service centre employee to keep, to keep who, what's his face, to keep Stanislav happy, so we will take, um, you're very friendly, a bit skilled, there we go, more staff, what we need now are some buses, so we're just going to try and hire I say hi, we're going to try and buy lots and lots of um, buses. I'm going to try mostly aiming for like new Ramesses and LFSs. So I'm going to offer, for, offer these ones at around half or just under. We're aggressively expanding. If they don't accept it, we'll just push through and just keep going. Any of these Masters and Ceteras stuff, we're going to offer as low as possible. And then we'll just sell them on afterwards and hope that they make us a bit of profit that way. So that's what I'm going to do. Oh, if they accepted that, that's a good start. And will you accept 12600? No, you rejected that one. Anyway, this is what I'm going to do. I'll carry on until all of our money is gone. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so we now have lots of buses back in. 
but we needed a bit more space going on in here as we seem to have buses queuing out on the main road that will probably be upsetting all of our neighbours so there we go a bit more space for them to come in we're just going to go through and we're going to sell for as much as possible all the buses that I don't want so that's all the masters which are surprisingly big considering they are like the smallest bus around and maybe a few of these terrorists who we don't need quite as many as we have and then we're going to go through and um, sell. Um, oh, go. We're going to go through and get everything ready. So we're going to have to get them fixed, get them repaired, get them clean, washed. So we need to get some more spare parts in. So hopefully we well, we'll take out another quick loan. We'll take out that thirty. Is a fairly expensive one, but we will pay them fairly quickly, hopefully, and we'll get some spare parts in so there we go replacement parts two engines three of everything else so we can have a nice stockpile unless there's none of them then we get four of them but that doesn't really matter unless you have brake pads which are fairly cheap anyway there we go what I will do is I'll get it delivered immediately so we can actually start fixing and not have to wait for it to be delivered. I mean, after all, it only costs us 589 to get it all delivered for one big lump sum. So if you're getting one or a dozen, it doesn't really matter. And actually thinking about that, we might as well just up our, um, up our order size that little bit more and make the most of our delivery charge. So we will have plenty delivered. So we should have five of each each things in store after that arrives okay so here is our delivery well some of it some of it's already gone in and here's some more of it I'm assuming there is yet more to come oh here it is being gently delivered by a swarm of drones I am fairly impressed that these little drones can carry a bus engine and stuff but if they can good on them I hope they just place it down nice and gently. Anyway, while it all arrives, let's speed things up a bit. Zooming on over, let's get our stuff in. Oh, we need to get some more bays in. Or to sell some buses. Oh, look at that, just gently just dropping them in from a great height. It's not ideal, but it seems to work if it does. Not going to complain. So we've got a few offers in here for buses. And if they're nice high offer like this one, I will take it lower offer like you I won't accept it um, no no we'll clear another space so we'll just take that one for now anyway while things are here let's get fixing and cleaning and having stuff ready oh, here comes another wave of um of deliveries coming in We've got all of our staff working hard to get it all sorted. Let's get you all fixed up too. And we'll get as many of these fixed up and ready for the road as possible in the morning for when we have all of our new routes. So let's speed our way through all of this. I don't normally work this quickly at moving the mouse. You have probably realised I procrastinate and daddle and dolly, whatever, well, I'll just take my time over whatever, whatever I am doing. We're going to rush through and see what needs doing. We appear to have already run out of um, oil, and we're just going to keep assessing the offers as and when they come in. But look at me go. Look at that. We're getting everything ready. We're going to sh shove some buses in to get painted. We should hopefully have a good range of buses all ready and raring to go in the morning so we can just chuck in the new routes well there we go got our lovely pink bus coming on i mean i say lovely i did sort of go deliberately very clashy with the pink and the red but anyway i sort of like it it stands out it's almost like the buses in belfast being pink anyway i think this play through this speed through is about to end okay so we've got quite a lot being fixed up but we seem to be short on oil 
So we can actually do another batch of replacement parts, which is this one. We have no oil, so I'm going to take that up to seven. Actually, we'll do it to eight. We've got no more engines, so we get three more here, one more here. We try and get four of everything. No, five of everything. At least if we have five of everything, we should have plenty for the moment. We'll just get a standard delivery. We don't need to get it rushed in. We have another three buses sorted out there. And we have four LFSs. We've got a couple more offers to consider. No, that is insulting. I'll take that just to get him out of the way. And if we look at loans, I'll repay that one. Boom. We are sorted. What we need now is to get these buses out on the road and making us money. So looking around, what do we have? Well, we've got one, this street along here, which looks quite busy. We've got one little shopping area here and another shopping area here. So we might connect along here and maybe come into this housing here or this housing up over here. We might run two separate routes along here. One over here, one up there. Otherwise, down here, I think we have a university I spotted here. Swansea University Singleton Park campus. We could probably do that. And I believe we have a hospital here. Um, yep, Singleton Hospital. Much like the university hospital. So maybe we could run something through the houses over here. Or we could come along to the civic centre. Maybe again, we could do like a couple of routes there, but. Let's get started putting a new route in. We still haven't got enough for a um, a service out um, for one of the uh, 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 you know what I'm kind of wanted to say. Actually, you probably don't, but anyway, we'll leave here, go to Picton Arcade, and we'll just head out along this way. I'm just going to run this service into the hospital for now. People can sort of walk across to the university if that is what they need. But otherwise, we'll do a quick loop around the hospital. We're using the SE, I think, as our timing spot. And then we'll just run it back the way we came. Okay, there we go, a new route, SW02, for Swansea Route 2, and we'll do this every half an hour, and every 15 at rush hour. And again, we'll do that to, for, from, to 10, from 5 until 10.30. I will spit my words out eventually. And then it was the first SE, I want to put that as a timing spot. If we come through, what was it called? I think it was the slip. We'll do two minutes at the university. And then we'll do first stop, two minutes there. And then Swansea University, three minutes. And then background, there we go. And we'll do that. <clears throat> Sorry. And we will do that um, six days a week. And then on a Sunday, we will do the same again. So copy and paste. But we do that every 45 minutes until nine. Confirm. Now that probably means we're going to need to assign some buses to get them out. Yep, there we go. We have a few ready up over here, so you and you. Still waiting on that oil, I thought we had more turning up. But we must have just used it all up. 
Okay, another new route. Yeah, we'll do this one along up over here. So if we start a new route here. Okay, new route. Boom, started there, lovely. And it will come out up this way. And I've got myself lost already. One stop there. And then all along this road. Ooh. I'm going to take this one down south into this area of town. And then we'll just do a big loop, that's too close, around over here. There we go. An Admiral's Walk be one timing point, and then back up this way. Okay, so there we go. We have one route sorted out. Well, say another, another route sorted out. We have Uplands and Esketi, and then Admiral's Walk. Cool. So again, we'll extend that to 10.30. Every 30 minutes and every 15. Let me do the standard one here. So, what was it? Uplands, wasn't it? Two minutes there. Sketchy cross. The middle one. Oh, that's already got the 15 there. First one, just add the one minute on there. And then Admiral's Walk. One minute there. Sketchy cross. One minute there. And it was Uplands. One minute on there. Happy days. And we'll copy that. I have a new timetable. Just for the Sunday. And again, you put that on at every 45 minutes. Until 9. Confirm. So if we get that plug playing, and we'll get these buses assigned. On you and on you there. Oh, you've got a sale going on here. Happy days. So, there we go. Couple of new routes. We have grown fairly rapidly. And I think we're going to need some more driving staff. I think most are already out on the road. So, again, we're just looking for people who are vaguely cheap and vaguely friendly. Um, you vaguely, vaguely friendly, but you are cheap to Alexander. Kelly, welcome to the team. Got one more. Nice round number, but now we need some more lockers. But we have plenty of room for them. So we'll just fill in this run along here. All the way to the end. There we go. And we'll have a look, see what research is doable. I oh, just fuel, air conditioning, and not much else. So we'll leave that. We'll wait until we have a few more trophies, and then we will go for the um, another solo bus. But now that we put those in, we can get some more of these drivers in again. So vaguely friendly, 
vaguely cheap. Welcome to the team, Ari. Oh, you're cheap. There we go. And do we have anyone else? Yes, we'll take you. And I want one more because I think we're currently on 13. Oh, I don't know why I made you much more expensive. Where are you? Yeah, I'm not paying you 21 an hour. 1350? Yes, you're still friendly, so we'll take that. Hopefully you won't mind too much. SW01, you want one of these? Cool, let's speed things up. Do we have any oil delivered yet? Please have some oil delivered. Still no oil, but we'll get you painted up. As we might as well have a, have a few more of them just ready to go. Oh, you can get painted next. Okay, so that's expanded enough for now. We probably need to start getting some more buses in, but we'll wait a moment for that. As we have a couple of these routes just sailing around. It's looking fairly busy, this service. But I think what if you put a second one in, sort of zigzagging around this one a bit, then that would be quite nice. I wonder what our money... Oh, but here we go. Let's get you painted up and then let's have a look how much our roots making us these are brand new so we're not expecting a huge amount from them but 19 grand in four days it's not bad on that route happy days what messages do we have in here cleaner is satisfied a bus driver is satisfied mm, and another satisfied driver happy days Do we have any operational buses? Nope, nope. Better put you out. And you. And you will take that one. Cool. Anyway, I think this is where we are going to leave it for now. That's been, that's been another successful episode. We've got lots done, a um, couple of new routes, a whole heap of new buses, and we should now be growing rapidly. One last thing we do before we leave is just start that research there, and we're also going to research nothing else. That'll do. That will do for now. The rest will wait for the next episode. But until then, enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see you in the next one. Until then, ciao for now.